What's going on guys? This is going to be this is going to be an updated video on my vitamin C treatment. It's been actually a very long time since I made a video since well well, I'm not going to get into it until my next video, but in the next video, I'm going to be talking a bit about what's been going on with me and I'm going to be doing another product review. So, you can stay tuned for that. But anyway, here is my updated vitamin C treatment video and I hope you enjoy. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you have any questions, same thing. And if you like the video, a thumbs up is always appreciated. So I hope you enjoy this and I will see you in the next video, alright? See you later, guys. Okay, guys, so I gather my usual ingredients for this updated vitamin C treatment. Now, it usually consists of the same ingredients that I used before in the last, last and old video, but I included two shampoos just in case one of the shampoos did not work. Now I had already crushed up the vitamin C pills ahead of time using the, you know, Ziploc bag method. But I noticed that the vitamin C pills are somewhat yellow, so I'm not sure what happened there. But nonetheless, I decided to create the first batch. For this first batch, I ended up using the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo since it's a little bit liquidy and plus I want to get rid of that stuff since it's not working so well for me anymore. After dampening my hair for a bit, I began to apply the first batch. Now, in case you haven't noticed in this video, it didn't quite foam or lather up as much as I wanted it to, even though I dampened my hair. So, you can kind of say that the first batch was sort of a fail of sorts, because I kind of expected it to work a lot better. And then I forgot this is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo we're working with. Sometimes it won't lather up as well. So, there's that. So I leave this in for exactly maybe only 20 minutes because it was just dripping down my face really badly and I couldn't stand it anymore. So I end up rinsing it out after about 20 minutes and I guess if you can probably see it didn't do so well the first time. So naturally I decided to make a second batch. For this second batch, I decided to use the second shampoo that I had with me, which was the Garnier Fructis Hydra Recharge, mostly because it is a very thick gel-like consistency, which happens to work a lot better when I do these kinds of treatments on my hair. So I decided to use that instead of the um, Jamaican Black Cast Oil Shampoo again.
Now when I applied the second batch, I made sure that my hair was extremely wet, but not to the point where it was dripping all over the place so that this batch could work a lot better. And it really, really did. It foamed up exactly like a shampoo. So this second batch was very easy to work with as you can see in the video. This second batch was left in for 40 to 45 minutes since it did so well this time and after about 45 minutes you can sort of see the changes here as you will see in this little clip. It, it works somewhat well but I did mention earlier in the video that the pills were sort of yellowish looking so I'm not sure if that kind of factored in but I kind of expected it to work a lot better if you know what I'm getting at. So now I'm just going to rinse it out in the bathtub because, you know, well, I find that using a bathtub is a lot easier than using my sink since the faucets are not that long. So I rinse it out in the bathtub and the results will be shown in two later clips to you. And these are the results of the vitamin C treatment. I kind of expected it to work a bit better, but it was a lot better than the last time that I did this, which you could probably see in the old video. So these are the results of it. and. Yeah.